Hello friends. So today we can discuss another problem from the latest code chef lunch time 2020 from January. Uh, the problem name is binary subsequence. Uh, it's a simple problem, but you have to first understand what the problem is demanding you to solve. And the problem statement is very simple. It says that you are given a binary string s of length n, and what is the length of the shorted subsequence? Not substring, subsequence. You can't delete it at any point. So you have to find out the length of the shortest subsequence of s that needs to be erased from the resulting string to be non-decreasing. So you are given some string. You have to delete out some subsequence of the string, which should be minimum, such that the resulting string is non-decreasing, which means that it should consist of some zeros and ones. So it it is like zeros and one. Okay, and then uh, you have to just given out some string, and you have to find out that what is like what is the string like. What is the minimum number of elements you need to delete it out? Okay, so let's like draw it out first to even make it more clear. I'll draw two three examples. Okay, just wait. Fill with white. Yeah, and uh, one more. This. Okay. So let's uh, think about this problem first. Now, the first thing can be like the answer for this is you just delete out this zero, so that it it becomes like only ones, which is not decreasing. So it can be like some zeros, like zeros can be zero or like zero till any number, and there are some ones. Okay. So in this case, as you can see, there is no zeros but only ones. There can can also be a case in which there are only zeros. There can be only ones or there are some zeros and ones. And so on. So now, how you can think about that? What is the optimal way? Now, what you can think here is what you actually want here is the first case can be you just delete out all the zeros or delete out all the ones, which is like all like also beneficial. You can delete out all zeros and all ones, so it can become non-decreasing. But the other case can be you just want that I want some zeros, and the other can be ones. So after ensure that at Certain point, I ensure that at a certain point, I only have zeros till this back and only ones ahead of this. So at some at some certain point, I want that till this point, all the zeros should be back and all the ones should be in front. And that how I can I can found out if I want that till this point, only zeros can be at the back. So what I can do here is I can iterate from left to right, and let's assume I'm I'm on this point. Now I, at this point, I can ensure that. I only want that the number of zeros should be at the back of this, and all the zeros at the front should be deleted out. But only one should be at the front, and all the ones behind it should be deleted out. I hope you get my point. So, at every point, I can easily find out how many ones and ones can be in front of this point, and ones at behind of this, and how many ones or zeros are in front of it, and how many zeros are behind of it. How you can find out? First, iterate over the whole string once, count out how many zeros and ones are there. Then again, while so iterating from left to right. Keep track of how many ones and zeros you have seen. Let, let's assume that I know that the total number of zeros in the string is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So whenever I encounter the first zero, I know that okay, this is the first zero, and there are total five zeros. So the number of zeros ahead of this is four. And I want that the to total number of zeros behind this or to till this point, this there are only zeros till this point. So if I only want zeros till this point, I have to delete out all the ones be behind it. How can I find out? I can count out how many ones I have seen till now. Two ones and how many total ones are there? You just count it out. So we just have to delete out two ones, and also if we delete out delete out these two ones, I only want the ones ahead of it and all delete out all the zeros ahead of it. How many zeros are there in front of it? The total number of zeros I have seen, the total number of zeros minus total number of zeros I have seen. Okay, and for all the i values, we just do the same thing and find out the minimum because we just want that I want the number of zeros till this point. Till this point, only zero should be behind, and only one side ahead. Till this point, only zero behind, and one side ahead. So there are it is like O of n solution. So there are two conditions: only zeros, only ones, or there are some zeros and some ones. That's the whole trick for this problem. I'll show the code part now. So the code is also very simple. First, count out how many zeros and ones are there in this whole string. Then the answer can be minimum of only zeros and ones, which means that I delete out all the zeros or all the ones. Okay, or else. 
I like mark out zeros as zero and ones. Like there are another two variables which will help us to iterate out how many zeros and ones I have seen again till now. So these are total number of zeros, and these are the zeros and ones I have seen till now. Then again iterate over the whole array. If I have seen one, then iterate make it one or zero. Okay. So what we are actually doing here is finding out how many zeros are one here. Okay. So how many zeros and one are up front? So as you can see, I have seen that this is zero is zero. Okay, because whatever zeros I will be seeing, okay, I will increment my zero from left to right. And how many ones I have seen? Okay, uh, if I have seen some ones, then I will decrement this this like this zero by one. What I what I'm actually doing here is this is ones. How many ones I have seen till now? So I have seen this number of ones till now. And how many zeros I have seen till now? Like because I have seen some zeros. How many zeros are in front of this? This is the number of zeros in front of it. So how many zeros? Uh, so uh, how many things I have to delete out? The main thing is how many numbers I have to delete out. I have to delete out all the zeros, all the zeros which are ahead of this. How I can find out the total number of zeros minus minus the total number of zeros I have seen. So that's what I'm calculating here. And how many ones I have to delete out? The number of ones behind this, which I'm calculating here. So we just have to minimize the z1 plus o1 value. Because see, I have to delete out, or actually delete out the number of zeros ahead of this. How I can find out the total number of zeros minus zeros I have seen till now. That's what I'm doing. Total number of zeros minus the zeros when I have seen a zero, subtract it out. And I have to delete out how many ones behind this, behind the current value. So I have to find out current value ones behind it. So I, whenever I iterate it out left and right, I'll increment the value. And because these are the values I have to delete out, the total number of I have to minimize this total value among this answer, and that's the answer. I hope you understand the logic as with the code for this problem. If you still have any doubts, you can share it in the comment box. I'll see you next one. Keep coding. Bye.